Is there any senator in the chamber who wishes to vote or to change her or his vote? Seeing none, on this vote, the yeas are 54, the nays are 45, three-fifths of the senators duly chosen and sworn not having voted in the affirmative, the motion is not agreed to. We offer you common sense reforms. More than half of that side just voted for massive amount of funding that we need for border security. We offer that as well, but we also make sure that authorities have the, uh, make it easier to remove criminals. We end chain migration. We end the diversity visa, and we have a path to citizenship for one and eight tenths million DACA and Dreamers. This, this is it, in a sense. Only plan that can become law, because the President said he would sign it. We've waited a long time and worked very hard for the chance to vote on a bill to protect Dreamers. I regret that the only bipartisan effort of the group of moderate senators to come up with a bipartisan compromise couldn't get the necessary 60 votes. And I expect the Grassley proposal will not get 60 either. I salute the eight brave Republicans who voted for the bipartisan compromise. But Mr. President, there's only one reason why the Senate will be unable to reach a bipartisan solution to DACA, President Trump. I would hope that we could uh, do something that's a path to citizenship, but if we can't, we ought to at least extend it for a couple of years and uh, give them some surety. It's not fair to these kids. And we will have dedicated a week of floor time in the Senate uh, without getting a meaningful result. And I think that would be a tragic lost opportunity. Um, because of two federal court cases, it's not clear what the status of the Dreamers will be. Um, but I think we shouldn't leave town um, without taking back up and back up several of these amendments and reconsidering them. The only way I see a solution is for the president to grab the reins back and lead himself and get Democrats and Republicans in a room focusing on strong border security and a fair solution for DACA, get that done, then move to comprehensive. I think it is very unfortunate that the White House, with a take-it-or-leave-it approach, decided it was more important to hurt young people who wanted to stay in the country than to create jobs and grow the American economy. And I think this is a decision the Senate is going to regret. I just don't get it. It's not fair to the American people. It's not fair to the, uh, the DACA immigrants. It's not fair to anybody. I mean, we just wasted an entire week. 